All right, so we're going to continue with the modeling this. Right click. I'm going to make sure this new material is on it. I don't think it is. So Lambert 5, so I can kind of show you a few things. So when I look at this and I hit 3 on the keyboard, it's going to collapse in on itself. Okay, that's just a given. Also, I have to kind of worry about structure here. So I'm going to add an edge loop in here. But I'm not going to recess it at all. Okay. Just like that. So what I'm going to have to do is brace this object so it doesn't fold in on itself on the next change. And all I'm going to do is insert an edge loop here here and I'm going to test those out by hitting three I see the first one or the second one went in but that's the first one okay so that looks a little bit better okay I'm also going to insert an edge loop here three on the keyboard you can see that that looks a lot better so I'm always switching between one and three much better okay I see you up I see a possible problem here and a possible problem here and sometimes you can in even insert these in three so you can see it real time happen okay All right, that's starting to look really nice. Now, see that crease right there? If I really wanted to get that out of there, see this edge? Well, I can make sure I highlight this edge all the way around. I'll show you this little trick. Okay, now that I've braced all the forms and everything. I can go like this and go edit, delete edge vertice. Okay, that'll get rid of that. In fact, I don't even know if I need that, to be honest with you. So now I don't have any crease. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to fix this end piece here. And to do so, I want to make sure I brace this a little bit. Nice. Okay, so that's all the detail I'm going to put in the body right now. And then we're going to go to the wings, and it's going to be a different workflow a little bit altogether as far as making these cylinders. Okay, so that ends the body, and let's go into the actual wing structure in the next video.